but just taking a quick look at this new all power 600 watt solar panel portable solar panel in fact um so this is kind of a unique offering from all powers it's something that's you know i'm kind of excited to take a look at there's there's pros and cons that kind of go in this route we'll talk about that compared to more traditional 100 watt 200 watt uh folding solar panels but yeah, you know, I'm just, it's kind of a, an interesting offering. So let's just kind of jump into it. So, you know, right off the bat, the first kind of the, the thing, like if you're going to be wanting to look at this panel and something that, you know, you, you, a reason you might find it interesting is the size and weight. It's a pretty good size on it. And uh, whoop, whoop, that's, the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong color. Uh, it's pretty good size on this panel. You know, as you can see in comparison to this guy, I mean, it's, it, it takes up a good amount of space even when it's folded up. But, um, you know, still for 600, we're talking 600 watts here, right? Uh, you know, what it's rated, what it's rated for. You're not going to get 600 watts. We'll talk about that. But, um, you know, and then, we, you know, you unfold it. There's actually six sections plus this little section there. So, you know, basically it gets over six times as large. So you're going to need, you're going to need a lot of space for this thing when you set it out. And, uh, but, you know, kind of the, the big thing is it's uh, 27.5 pounds. And they actually say it right here. <laughs> lighter and smaller than most uh 400 watt panels right and this is i would say this is true right and it's just one unit right you fold you fold all six of these uh sections up together and you just got one thing with one handle and 27.5 pounds most people can kind of carry that pretty easily right so that's you know the simplicity of this this uh setup is kind of the, the big appeal and the other appeal is the specs so this is you know big time specs on here and good specs as far as um the usability of this panel so yes, uh, 600 watts monocrystalline, yes. 23% conversion rate, okay. But the, you know, the big news, kind of the thing you probably wanna know is if it's gonna work for your power station, um, you know, 52.8 volts open circuit. So this is, this is perfect, really, because um, a lot of these newer power stations, for whatever reason, <laughs> a lot of them have kind of settled on uh, having a charge controller, MPPT uh, charge controller that can do up to 60 volts. You know, I don't know why they've kind of picked 60 volts, but um, that's kind of like an industry standard, right, for these power stations that kind of do like decent solar, like have decent solar capability. So this panel will work with any of those power stations, right? If you, as long as you have 60 volts or higher uh, input range on your power station, this panel is going to work for you. Now, the one thing you got to know with this setup is there's, there's no kickstands with this solar panel. So, you know, if you look at Take a look at all the pictures that, that they show in this listing. It, you know, they have some kind of arrangement for this thing. There's, it's not propped up by any means, right? So um, you take a look at they have it hanging off that van there. On this picture here, they kind of set, have it set up on your desk, uh, on your deck, excuse me. And um, they're actually using the, the railing to kind of prop this thing up. Now, both of these situations are kind of, um, you could do it, right? I mean, you could do, you could have, you know, and they give you, as you, as you see, you can keep going back and forth here. They, they, they give you some straps, some carabiners, you know, so you can kind of do these uh, setups with this thing. But the thing I, I would kind of say is like, this is um, not quite ideal, right? I mean, it's not quite ideal. You could do it if the sun's low in the sky, like early morning, you know, late afternoon or, or winter time, right? You could do a setup like this. Um, but I think that the big appeal for this kind of, I would almost call this like, um, like a blanket style uh, solar panel, really just the ultimate setup to just lay flat on the grass on the ground right <laughs> i mean this you, you're dealing with these big panels here and this is kind of the appeal you're getting 600 watts and uh so maybe just accept the fact that you're not going to try to set these panels up to get you know every single watt that you can get out of it right the the the, the, the appeal to this setup to me is you just unfold it on the ground lay it out and I've talked about this in my other videos, you know, the benefits to doing that and not dealing with the kickstands and not trying to get the solar panel angled up to the sky are, there's many, <laughs> there's many. Number one is just stealth mode, right? I mean, I mean, you know, from any, anybody kind of looking at you from a distance, even a relatively short distance, you're not going to see that those solar panels, right? I mean, if you got neighbors, whatever, or you're just out and about, you know, you're not going to see the solar panel sticking up. So it's just kind of, I kind of like to do that, the kind of like stealth mode, um, you know, just laying on the ground. And then number two is, you know, with the, with the sun, you know, as the sun kind of moves through the sky throughout the day, if you do have angled solar panels, you got to keep adjusting the angles on those things, right? So um, I like to just kind of have solar panels laying down flat on the ground and just 
you know, whatever power it gets is what the power it gets. It's not going to get ideal power, no, except the fact that you're going to get like, oh, let's say 300, right? 300 throughout the entire day and then you don't got to mess with it. You don't got to move it. You don't got to adjust it and so on. And another thing I like, they're using MC4 connectors on these things. So this is kind of like the universal connector for solar panels. Now, as you might imagine, this panel is not perfect. So um, we'll kind of talk about some of the downsides here. Uh, number one, they're using PET film on this thing. So this is, uh, you know, a little bit disappointing. We really want to see ETFE on these uh, portable solar panels. If you're using this thing just like on weekends or something, it, it's probably fine, right? It's probably fine. But yeah, long-term, heavy use, day in and day out, you wanna, you're want you going to want to look for that ETFE uh, coating. Another interesting thing they say, IP67 waterproof material. Waterproof material, so that's, you know, I... I IP67 rated, I think, is what we're going to want to look for. IP67 material, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe some of the material is IP67, but it's the whole thing IP67? Um, probably not. In fact, they say it right down here. IP67 protects it from scratches, dust, water splashes, or soaked water for a short time. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a short time IP67 reading. Definitely don't plan on leaving this thing out in the weather, out in the rain, you know, all the time. You're gonna have to, you know, bring this thing in, set it out. But, you know, the big appeal, as I talked about with this unit, with this panel, is it's just one thing to set up. And especially if you wanna just do that blanket style on the ground, it's just super easy. Just fold it out, leave it out on the ground. You don't gotta mess with it, you don't gotta deal with it and only 27.5 pounds and it folds up into one thing, right? So there's a lot of things to still like about this uh, panel. I just, like I said, I wouldn't rely on it kind of day in and day out every day. Um, but for weekends, you know, you, it's perfect, right? It'll probably, probably last a, a long time if you're just using it kind of more on the occasional basis. And for this price, um, you know, with the, well, you know, you got the coupon here and then you got the discount there. I think some, after all that stuff, you know, it's somewhere going to be around $600. So around a dollar a watt, which is a good, good deal. I kind of think that's, that's what you want to look for. No matter which solar panel you're, you're getting, right? Portable solar panel. You kind of want to look for a dollar a watt. You can find deals like that. And hopefully I just kind of find this video helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.